Hello, it's your fellow singing engineer, Roy Moy III, and we're getting ready to take a deep sea dive in this The Music Moment. Time for a STEM music moment, STEM music moment, STEM music moment, STEM music moment. During this STEM music moment, we're going to take a deep sea dive and discover a whole bunch of marine life. Now, you have to pay attention during the traditional lesson because there will be some key words that you need to remember for when we get to the lyrics of the song that I wrote called Deep Sea Dive. We will go through those lyrics and you'll have to remember the key words and then, last but not least, we'll have an incredible song called Deep Sea Dive and we'll be dancing and singing and swimming. So stay tuned and let's jump into this STEM music moment. Deep Sea Dive Deep sea dive, gonna take a look at the marine life. Deep sea dive, deep sea dive, see how many animals we can find on a deep sea dive. A deep sea dive, gonna see them all and it's gonna be nice on a deep sea dive. A deep sea dive, gonna take a look at the marine life. So the first type of marine life we're gonna talk about is the sea turtle. There are seven species of sea turtles. The largest being the leatherback and the smallest being Kemp's Ridley. Now, there's a difference between the land turtle and the sea turtle. What do you think that difference is? Well, the difference is that they have fins. Sea turtles aren't swimmers, right? In the deep sea dive, so they have fins. And the land turtles can actually go back into their shell, but sea turtles can't. So check this out. Our female sea turtles are the ones who actually lay the eggs and they go onto the beach, keyword beach. They dig a hole and they lay a whole bunch of eggs because sea turtles are reptiles, right? And so the interesting fact about them laying these eggs is that depending on the temperature of the sand, you can either have girls or boys. So what you have to remember is if the sand is hot, you're gonna have girls. If the sand is cold or cooler, you're gonna have boys. And if the sand fluctuates while these eggs are in it, you'll have some girls and you'll have some boys. Isn't that pretty cool? Pretty wild. Now, the other thing about sea turtles, which is pretty amazing, is they can hold their breath for hours, keyword hours, at a time. The green sea turtle can actually hold its breath underwater for five hours. Now, how does it do that? It rests its heart rate, which is crazy. Check this out. It does not have its heartbeat for like nine minutes in between each heartbeat, which is pretty insane, holding its breath for such a long time. And so when you can hold your breath for a long time, you can dive really deep. And so the leatherback sea turtle we mentioned earlier can dive up to 4,000 feet, which is wildly insane. That's a deep sea dive, right? Now, they can live up to 50 years in the wild, some even up to 100 years in the wild. And lastly, they love to eat just like any other animal and they like to feed on algae and other plants, also fish, crabs, and jellies. Speaking of jellies, we're jumping into our next animal right now, marine life called the jellyfish. So the jellyfish, they are invertebrates, which means they don't have a backbone, no vertebrae. There are 200 species of jellyfish. Now, very interesting fact is jellyfish, they don't have a brain, key word, brain. Remember that, okay? They use a nerve net below the surface of their outer skin, which helps them adapt to the environment changes around them. So we use our brain if something goes wrong to change, right? But they're using a nerve net system that they have. now. Another very crazy fact about jellyfish is that they can clone themselves. If you split a jellyfish in half, it can regenerate those two halves to become two new jellies, which is amazing. Now, the lion's mane jellyfish is the largest species and has the longest tentacles. Lion's mane is a key word, so remember that. Now, how long are those tentacles? 27 meters in length, which is roughly equivalent to 88.5 feet. But what does that mean? That means they're roughly as long as three school buses, which is crazy. Now, jellyfish love to eat, and they like to eat small plants. They like to eat fish eggs and small fish. They can live up to two to three years, or maybe even a couple months, depending on their habitat in the wild. The next marine life we're talking about is the stingray. There are over 60 species of stingray, the largest being the giant freshwater stingray. 
It is six feet in length and over 700 pounds. That's huge. Now, the stingray is not made up of bones, but made up of cartilage, which is in our ear and in our nose. They can be found on the sea floor, which is a deep sea dive, and they actually have really long tails that have a spine and venom, keyword venom. Now, when they're looking for prey to eat, they actually have eyes on the top of their heads. So they need to use electro sensors, keyword electro sensors, to find their food. Now what does that mean? They have electric organs inside their bodies that have electrocytes. And that means they have nerve cells that produce and create electricity. So if they feel threatened or if they want to find some food, they shoot out an electric charge. So be wary. Now they love to eat clams, mussels, and shrimp. And in the wild, they can live up to 25 years. That is the stingray. So let's talk about eels. We have the true eel and the electric eel. True and electric are key words, so be sure to remember those. Let's talk about the true eel first. They cannot shock you. They actually can breathe underwater with gills, and they primarily live in salt water, so our oceans. They have a dorsal fin, and they have teeth. Now, we turn to our electric eel. The electric eel can shock you. Shock is a key word. They can put out electricity of up to 600 volts, which is pretty impressive. Now, their bodies, similar to the stingray, are made up of these nerve cell electrocytes, and that's how they have this energy to shock you. Now, another interesting thing is that the electric eel is really the false eel. They are actually closely related to catfish, and they're the knife fish. That's actually their name, knife fish. So, that's how you can know the difference between the two. Another interesting thing is that the electric eel has to breathe air, and they live in fresh water in South America, primarily the Amazon. Very, very interesting thing about our eels. Now, the combination of the two, true and electric, is that they are nocturnal. So if you're trying to find them, nocturnal is a key word, and that means that they're awake at night. So you're really gonna have to either come to an aquarium or have on some night vision goggles to dive under to see these eels. They love to eat clams, shrimp, and mussels, and they can live from five years to even 80 years in the wild. Those are the two types of eels, true and electric, and now you know. The last piece of marine life we're gonna talk about on this deep sea dive is the shark. There are over 500 species of sharks. Now we know the common ones, the popular ones like the great white and the hammerhead shark, but we're gonna talk about a couple others a little bit later on in this stim music moment. The first thing I wanna highlight is that our sharks are not made up of bones, similar to our stingray. They are made up of cartilage, like our ear and our nose. Cartilage is a key word. Another thing to know is they have great eyesight. They have great eyesight. They actually have this reflective layer of tissue behind the eyes called the tapetum, and this thing helps them see really, really well in very dim lit places or in the depths of the ocean where it's dark. That's a really cool thing to have for your shark. Now, the other thing that you need to know about the shark is that they have spiracles, keyword spiracles, and that's just some of the sharks. That's not all of the sharks and the spiracles help them breathe while they're at rest. So for the sharks that have them, it's a really good benefit. They can kind of chill out and just breathe while at rest. They have water that kind of pulls over their respiratory system with these spiracles that are located right behind their eyes. Now, for sharks who don't have spiracles, they have to constantly swim. They have to just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, because they have to pull water past their gills to breathe. So. Let's jump into just two different sharks I wanna highlight in this stim music moment. We have the nurse shark, which is a bottom dweller, keyword bottom dweller, and the nurse shark can chill with the spiracles it has. So it's one of those sharks that has the spiracles to help it breathe while it's at rest. It is nocturnal, so you might have trouble finding it during the daytime, and it can be up to 14 feet in length and weigh 200 pounds. Now, the next shark I want to highlight real quick is the black tip reef shark. It has black tips on its dorsal fins, most of them anyway, right? It's in the name. This shark also swims in shallow water near the surface, which is a key word, surface. They can be up to 5.5 feet long and weigh 55 pounds. That's the black tip reef shark. Now, when we talk about the diet of sharks in general, it is a smorgasbord, a lot of food. They can eat fish, crabs, rays, and then you get to the bigger sharks, they can eat seals and even other sharks. 
wild, I know. And they can live up to 20 or 30 years in the wild. That, my friends, is the shark. So we learned all about those different types of marine life. It's time to jump into the lyrics of the song, Deep Sea Dive. Are you ready? I hope you remembered those key words. So let's jump into the first verse right now. What's that I see? A sea turtle laying eggs on the blank. Where was the sea turtle laying eggs? On the beach, yes. And I see it diving in the sea, holding its breath for blank indeed. Holding its breath for blank indeed. What is that blank? Hours, you're absolutely right. Holding its breath for hours indeed. Now, let's take a look at the jellyfish that doesn't have a brain. It doesn't have a brain. Super long tentacles like the ones on the jelly called the blank. What was that jellyfish? The lion's mane, absolutely, I love it. Now, check out the stingray under the sea waves. Got a tail full of blank. Venom, that's right, it was a little dangerous, right? Eyes on their top side, so for food, they use blank in them. What do they use to catch their food? Electro sensors, that's right. We're going on a deep sea dive. Now let's jump into verse two. So verse two starts off with some Spanish, Espanol, tiburón, 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 which means shark, shark, shark. Yeah, they got it going on. From the black tip reef shark, swimming near the blank. Swimming near the surface, yes. To the nurse shark with a blank, blank purpose. What are the nurse sharks known as? Bottom dweller purpose, yes, perfect. No bones found, only blank. Not made of bones, what were they made of? Cartilage, yes, no bones found, only cartilage. Blank, giving them a breathing privilege. What was that funny word that helped sharks who sit still breathe well? Spiracles, you're absolutely right. Spiracles giving them a breathing privilege. Gotta move on, gonna look at the eel. Will it be a blank or a blank eel? There was two types. What were those two types? You're actually right. It is, will it be true or is it an electric eel? One of them can blank. That's a really big deal. One of them can blank. What was that blank? One of them can shock. That's a really big deal. You're absolutely right. One can breathe underwater with a nice set of gills. You may not see them because they're living blank. What's that blank? When you don't see them in the daytime, they are nocturnal. You're absolutely right many different colors yellow spotted blue and purple dive and that's the lyrics of the deep sea dive song now let's jump into this fun filled deep sea dive music video right now deep sea diving yeah yeah we call it stim music the marine life we will see on oh, no. deep sea dive Shark swimming near the surface to the nurse shark with the bottom dweller purpose. 
No bones found, only cartilage. Spiracles giving them a breathing privilege. Gotta move on, gonna look at the eel. Will it be a true or an electric eel? One of them can shock, that's a really big deal. One can breathe underwater with a nice set of gills. You may not see them cause they live in nocturnal. Many different colors, yellow, spotted, blue, and purple. Dive. Deep sea dive, deep sea dive. Gonna take a look at the marine life. Deep sea dive, deep sea dive. See how many animals we can find on a deep sea dive. A deep sea dive. Gonna see them all and it's gonna be nice on a deep sea dive. A deep sea dive. Gonna take a deep look at the dive. marine life. Deep sea dive, deep sea dive. Gonna take a look at the marine life. Deep sea dive, deep sea dive.